it out of us, that's right. like trouble on the other side, boss. Yeah. Better round up the boys. Okay. Giving us a slip again. Say, hey, Joe. Yeah. Better ride back on the red step and uh, notify the sheriff. All right, Tex. Rest of you boys better get back over on the north range. Come on, Peter. Hey, you know, boys, it's tough after making this ranch a paying proposition for old man Turner. Getting these goats to see it drifting into the red. Yeah, and if this rustling keeps up, you'll never get that beef contract out on time. I can't figure out who these cow thieves can be. Yeah, or how they keep getting away with it. trouble, all right. Well, you, you see, you know, you know, you see, uh, that's Tootsie Wootsie. Tootsie Wootsie. Yeah, that's Tootsie Wootsie. Yes. I'll need $500 to come to you, my love. Well, you know, I was figuring on drawing my money out of the savings bank and and, and sending for her. You what? Why, you big, long, lean, lanky drink of water. Well, she wouldn't, she wouldn't. Ain't we having enough trouble on this ranch without you bringing some female here to mess it all up? But Tootsie Wootsie ain't that kind. So I'm telling you for the last time, this is a man's ranch. And if you want to stay my pal, you better lay off.
morning, Mr. Wilkins. Another bunch of our cattle. You don't mean it. Yeah. Having trouble again at the Triple X, Joe? That's right, Mr. Thomas. And what we want to know is when you're going to do something about it. Great Scott. Ain't we scarred this entire country till we're green in the face? Yeah, we ain't seen hiding a hair of that rustle. I'm getting suspicious, I am. Suspicious of what, Sheriff? Well, it's mighty funny. There ain't nobody being molested but the Triple X outfit. Ah, take it easy. Wait a minute, Joey. You better get going. I guess the sheriff knows what he's about, all right. Well, all right. You mean you think it's an inside job? Well, I don't know. If it is, Tex Mason don't know it. He's been too much on the level with that boss of his back east. I'm not so sure about that. So you made it, eh? Yeah, about a dozen steers. Good. I just got a letter from old man Turner. He still refuses to sell. Oh, yeah? More raids like this one, and he won't have enough beef left to fill his contract on the first of the month. <laughs> You're right. And then he'll be ready to sell at your own figure. That's what I'm thinking. Keep me informed and watch your step. All right, boss. Yes, but yeah, you. but as a ranch foreman, you're a swell Romeo. Well, Tex, Chicago's been keeping the way out hot for you all day long. What, Mr. Turner? No, no, he's he's a lawyer. Must be important. Oh. Hello. Hello. Let's text Mason about that Chicago call. Oh, all right. Gosh, Tex, I'll bet we're both fired. Maybe. Unless I had to write him about that last wrestling job. And we lose another bunch today. Well, I... You know, I ain't Tex. Oh, it's all right, old timer. You know, things like that happen. When some fellow's crazy enough to fall for some female. Well, I... Say, if that old blister fires us... Hello? Yeah, this text Mason. Oh, oh, hello, Mr. Smithers. Yeah. What? Gee, yeah, I'm sorry. Are we fired, Dave? What's he talking about? Hey, Dix, what makes you look so scared? Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Smithers. We're fired, I know it. You old skin break, you. Wait a minute. Mr. Turner's dead. What? Yeah, he was stricken suddenly. He died yesterday. I guess that's why I didn't get that letter I wrote him. Gee, was it swell, fella. He sure was, Jake. Now, I suppose, they'll let this ranch go to John Thomas for a bale of hay, huh? 
No, you're wrong. Peter? Mr. Turner left me a half interest in this ranch. He did? Gosh, and I thought we were fired, Sid. The last thing I do, I'm going to make this place pay. We're going to fill that beef contractor bus. Anyone that interferes in our business or lays down on a job is going to get what's coming to him. I'm with you, Dix. Of course, we're going to have a devil of a time doing it. Yeah, we'll... But I'm going out and buy enough stairs to fill that contract, and I'm starting right now. Come on. Sure. Hey, Tex, who's the other part of this outfit? Turner's daughter. His daughter? A female? What of it? We'll never see her. She's too busy doing things those city gals do, even though she's got a ring. Yeah, maybe. Come on, come on, let her go. Okay. Ah, dude, Ray. Yeah? And you said that we'd never even see her. and transact no further business until I arrive. Bump. I wonder who she thinks she is. Well, you know, I guess she's a queen herself. I seen one of her pictures one time. You know she... Shut up! Well, Peg, I'll tell you. Maybe her idea of a new ranch wouldn't be so bad as that. Say, listen, this is a business place, not a playground. She'll soon find that out. Well, I was just, just thinking that, uh... What with? Well... Say, ain't you forgetting something? What? Well, the queen asked you to meet her train. Oh, send one of the boys. Get the rest of those boys over on the east range. Round those yearlings up. Oh, all right. Hey, what's up, Ski? What do you mean, the queen? Do you see, the owner of the ranch died. He left half interest to the daughter. And she's coming out on the train. Hey, how about me meeting her? Uh, Ski. I'm the boy to meet the lady. Ah, oh, go on. You wouldn't know a lady if you saw one. Well, Skeeter, I... Well, wait a minute now. This ain't no pleasure resort. This is a place of business. And me being the foreman, I'll meet the girl. You guys can go along if you want to, but you better get dolled up a little. Wait till I get that shirt of mine on, and I'll show you a lady. I suppose you make you get that shirt of mine. get those new chaps. He's broke up here. How about that there, well, whatever possessed your father to buy property in a barren place like this? Well, Auntie, they can't very well raise cattle on Michigan Avenue. Oh. I wonder why Mr. Mason isn't here. You know that I'm not going to like it here. Peggy, look! Why, here comes a troop of cavalry. Well, it, it can't be Annie. Oh, that must be the cowboys. Are you Miss Turner, ma'am? Yes. And you're Tex Mason? No, I'm Skeeter, the ranch foreman. Oh. And them uh, is part of your hired help. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do, do, you do ma'am? And this lady, boys, is my Aunt Flossie, <laughs> Miss Doolittle. Very glad to you, Miss Doolittle. Uh, how do you do, Mr. Skeeter? I know I'm just going to love it out here. Yes, ma'am. But uh, where is Mr. Mason? Why didn't he come? Well, he couldn't, uh, he couldn't come. 
Because, uh, well, because... Because why? Well, he fell off of his horse this morning and broke his arm. Oh, oh what a shame. I'm sorry. <laughs> of course he couldn't come. But, but how are we going? Well, ma'am, uh, the boys figured that you would like this. Pudge, bring the horse out. Here he is, man. <laughs> Beautiful. But I should have told you I was bringing Addie with me. Gosh, Pudge, we, we should have brought that buckboard. Yeah, that's right. Well, couldn't I ride with you? Well, uh, ma'am, uh, That's a see. grand idea, Peter. And I'll slip into the station and change into my riding tog. And we'll be all set. Just a minute. You know, I've never been on a horse in my life. And I'm just thrilled. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, couldn't you help me out? Well, uh... <laughs> oh, there you are. I don't seem to be able to do it. I guess well, you have to help maybe me. Maybe you better put your foot in there. You said what's that for? <laughs> I wondered what that was for. No. You just give me your put, hand. Put the other foot. Put the other foot in. Hello. Oh, oh, that's your right. Where's it? Well, well. Now, well, wait a minute. Will you hold me, please? All right. Give me a hand. Yes, Would you please you bring me back well. again? I'll start Watch all over. More help, Chief. Well, well, it always looked so simple when other people did it. You have to get back here. You have I, to. I got to ride up there. I guess I'll hold your hand. Get back here. Right there. <laughs> well, most embarrassing. You just let me hold you, Mrs. Peters. I feel. I think I can get the rest to fill up these contracts from the Circle Y out there. I can't do it, Tex, because John Thomas has got a lean on all my stock. And you can fix it up with him, it's all right with me. All right, thanks, just the same. You're welcome. There's no Indians close here. Wouldn't you be scared if there were Indians out here, Ali? There's nothing, there's nothing to be scared of. I suppose not with you about, Mr. Peter. <laughs>
sitting right down over here. Are you, are you all right? I, I guess so. Thank you. Oh, that's all right. Oh, oh Mr. Peters, please get me down off this terrible horse. My knees are... Oh. Peggy, darling, are you killed? Don't be oh. silly, dear. Are you sure you're not dead? Of course not. Oh, oh those silly. mean horses. All right. <laughs> if it hadn't been for that Mr. Skeeter, I might have been killed. I I'm not even scratched, dear. Not at all. No bones broke? No. Well, that's all right. You can stand up. What's the meaning of all this nonsense? Well, you know, boss, uh, I Why was... didn't you send Pudge in with a buckboard after him? Not Well, I figured on... Uh, you on... never did figure beyond that long nose of yours. She might have been killed. So, you're a tech mate. Yes, ma'am. I want to thank you. You did very well for having a broken arm. A broken arm? I haven't got any broken arm. Skeeter told me that you couldn't come to meet me because you'd broken your arm. Oh, you did, did you? Well, you know, boss... Go you... get that horse. I'd have met you myself, miss. But I had plenty of important ranch business to attend to. Oh, indeed? Yes, there's more to do without standing around on top of this hill. Come on, you can ride this horse oh. home. Peter, help the lady on that horse. But I, but I don't want to get on this runaway horse. No, he won't run anymore today. Oh. You'll be all right. Oh, but I'm afraid. No, just get right there. He, he'll be all right. Oh. Peter, you walk. The lady will be more comfortable. Come on. Oh. Oh, but Mrs. Peter, I think I'd feel more comfortable if you just hold my hand. Tex Mate, if you think you're going to boss me, you're sadly mistaken. Yes, ma'am. They had a steers I bought yesterday. Aren't you presuming somewhat? Presuming? Yes. Since I wrote you, I had other plans for the ranch. Were you serious about that crazy dude ranch idea? Well, I certainly was. Besides, you should have consulted me before writing any checks at all. Yes, but don't you see, we had to make that cattle shipment before the first of the month. Besides, with the market flooded the way it is, we're lucky to have that contract. And if we don't fulfill it, then we haven't got any market. We won't need any market for anything since we're going to have a Jude ranch. And we'll have to have the cattle for atmosphere. Oh, atmosphere. Take that check over there. Peter, give me that check. You heard me. Give me that check. If you don't do as I tell you, you're fired. He's not fired. Peter, give it to me. And don't stop till you get there. Say, what do you know about running a ranch like this anyway? Oh, 
scared. Ah, uh, you like to see it going to the red just to get your own satisfaction like all the rest of the crazy females in the world. Oh. Well, anyway, I told your father I'd make a go off at the place, and I'm going to make a go off at the last thing. Hey, dude, whatever the matter with you? Oh, nothing. Just having a little argument, that's all. Another argument with Mr. Mason? Yes. Well, she'll go. I'd come out of Boston. Ah, that little fool. She's a foot of sweet to go in, she, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just like all the sour pickles down in the cellar. Oh, but Dixon, she ain't got a no warts. anything about men, you won't. They're different out here in the wide open spaces. Dear me. <laughs> Just you wait. Oh, here comes Mr. Thomas. We're going for a ride. I don't like that man. I don't like his face. Why? He's one of Father's old friends. I can depend on his advice. All right, but I'll have nothing to do with him. Oh, dear, Miss Turner. How do you do, Mr. Thomas? Before we go riding, could I talk over a little business with you? Why, uh, surely. Won't you sit down? Thank you. You know I made your father an offer on this ranch, which he accepted. Of things have changed now. But I think you should encourage Tex to sell. Why, I... I don't think... Oh, that... the price is good. And besides, I'm afraid Tex is not capable of making a go of this place. Just what is your proposition? I brought the papers along with me. Yeah, boss. Uh, I hear Miss Peggy say that uh, today is... What do you call it? First day. Oh, yeah? Hey, sure. Hey, yeah, so, uh, oh, yeah. Well, Jake, uh, as long as that's the case, you better make one of those special cakes of yours for supper. That's uh, just the what I think. Yeah. As long as you're in town, you might pick up a few, uh, you know, those special candles, too. Yeah, that's uh, just the what I think is some more. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Mason. Hello, Tex. Oh. Mr. Thomas has just offered us a very good price for the ranch. Yes, sir? Yes. He says it started his father's own proposition. And I think that it's... Bonnie, I never heard anything about it. Probably my father wasn't in the habit of discussing his business with his employees. Oh. Tex, now that you have an interest in this ranch, I think you should look at things sensibly. The triple X is not for sale. I'm very sorry, Mr. Thomas. He must have indigestion or something. No, it's not indigestion. Why, what do you mean? He hasn't told you that this ranch has been molested by rustlers, has he? You mean cattle thieves? Exactly. No. Well, your father knew of it. I don't want to say too much, but... You can draw your own conclusion. But surely you can't mean the text. I'm only warning you the same as I would have your father. He was my friend, you know. But there must be some mistake. Why, I can't believe it. Well, we haven't the proofs yet. And perhaps it isn't Tex himself. But one thing is certain. What? It's an inside job. Oh. There, now, don't you worry your pretty head about it. Let me do the investigating. You're very kind, Mr. Thomas. But 
I do hope it isn't true. Well, let's forget all about it and go for our ride, shall we? Very well. but I've lost them. Huh. Losing them seems to be a habit with us, ain't it? Ah, oh, shut up. I'll oh, have this one in a minute. Yarn on that. Don't let him get you down there. There she is. Put her on there now. Well, let's get him. Concentrating on the fact that this is a cattle ranch? I don't care if it's an elephant farm. You shan't torture these poor, helpless creatures. I said let him go. And if I ever catch one of you abusing anything on this ranch again, I'll discharge you. All right, boys. I guess Miss Turner's right. It is kind of tough on the poor little devils. Let him go. Let him go. You know, it's nice to see that you're capable of being reasonable. That's nice of you, too, Mom. Well, I'll be... Shut up! Can I help you do your heart? Well, certainly. By the South Trail, Thomas. Here. Take that and beat it to town. What? <laughs> hey, what color are you supposed to better be? Get some uh, blue and pink. <laughs> Hey, hey, what, what, hey, what is this one about? Uh, it's a little idea of my own. Don't worry about that. You know, Addie, Jake told me Tex was responsible for that birthday cake last night. Yes? Mm -hmm. And he was so decent about the branding yesterday. I think I've been a little unreasonable. No doubt the way your father spoiled you. 
Do you think he'll understand if I show him I'm sorry for my silly attitude? Well, I... Hex would like to see you outside for a minute. Why, well, of course. Oh, Mr. Skeeter. Who do you think I'm making this for? Well, I don't know, ma'am. For you. You see, uh, put the brandings out. We had to identify our stock. So I think I've found a way that'll meet with your approval. That's awfully considerate of you, Tex. What have you done? Come on, I'll show you. Now, relax. You know, I just love to do things for people that I like. <laughs> Ever since I... When I first came here, I didn't think I was going to like it, but <laughs> the longer I stay, the better I like it. I have so much maternal instinct. Hey, look out, boys. Here they come. Give me a match. Hello, boys. Hello. Hello. There you are. You're dead. Get in there and get those ribbons off those steers. Can you imagine him blaming us for his ideas? Oh, oh we oh, did it. Come on. Come on, let's get it off of the stairs. I'm tired of being a drove around. Hmm. So much nicer than being on a horse, isn't it? You know, I really don't care much for horses. I I like the indoors. But of course you, you belong out of doors, don't you, Peter? Yes, ma'am. Mm.
How do you do, Mr. Thomas? Warm, isn't it? Yes, isn't it, though? Oh, uh, won't you sit down? Thank you. Oh, oh Miss Turner. Miss Turner. Hello, Mr. Thomas. How did you? What is it, Joe? If you don't mind, Miss, I got to talk to you alone. Excuse That's me. That's all right. Well, uh, what's wrong? I was riding herd alone this morning on the west end of the roundup. I suddenly see a couple of rustlers making off with some of our steers. Yes. One of them looked sort of familiar, so I trailed them as far as the river. Who was it? Well, of course, I ain't sure, but. But one looked like Tex. Tex Mason? Well, what did I tell you? Joe, but you're not sure. Well, only uh, unless this fits his horse. What do you mean? Well, I lost the trail at the river, but I picked that up at the same spot. There he is now. Nothing of this to anyone, Joe. That's all. Yes, ma'am. And if this shoe fits his horse, it only remains to find out where he's hiding the cattle. Oh, Mr. Thomas. But I can't believe I it. am convinced that he stole from your father all along and is now robbing you. Please let me handle this alone. If it's true, I'd rather just forget it and simply end our partnership. I think you're quite right. Maggie? Well, since that beef contract is so important, I thought all hands were busy with the roundup. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, the boys are out, you see, but I uh, I slipped away to, uh, well, I had to... Uh, to lose this? Is that mine? you get this? Mr. Mason, you'll sell out your interest in this ranch to me immediately. After that, I hope you'll have the decency to get out of the presence of respectable people. Hey, wait a minute. Would you mind telling me what you're talking about? I needn't pretend to me, Tex Mason, because that horseshoe was found on the trail of your rustling. Rustling? No. I don't want to prosecute you. That's why I'm insisting that you sell up to me at once. Otherwise, I'll have to call in the sheriff. Oh. So that's it, huh? All right. What are you going to do? I've got a beef shipment to deliver, and I'm going to deliver it. In the meantime, you can call in the sheriff or anyone you like, but you'll never get the satisfaction of buying me out.
are you, men? Hey, listen, we got to get them cattle across the border tonight. Yeah, I've seen the sheriff snooping around the other side of the ridge. Well, I got another plan now. At 12 noon, Joe's going to tip off Tex Mason that a gang of strangers have his cattle corralled up here. He'll be alone. And when he rides in here... I got you. We've got him. But where's where? I was herding some trays out of the hills over there, and I saw the whole bunch of them. They've got our stairs corralled in Dead Man's Gulch. Dead Man's Gulch? Yeah. That's great. There's only one way out of there, and that's through the pan. You round up the boys and follow me, and I'll go ahead. All right. Hurry up. You've got your orders. I'll go get the sheriff. All right, boss. Come on, boys. Get them horses out of the way. Hey, Bob, you got a 30-30? Yes. All right, get it out. Get the shelf for it. Hey, move that paddle back a little bit. Get that out. Take him up the cabin. Why, you... I ought to kid you for that. Come on, take him up the cabin. Bring that horse off. Right? into town. <laughs> I see him come out of the harness in the shop, you know. <laughs> he not stop for nothing when he get a door. He's so excited, he don't notice that he's a horse throw his shoe in the street. What? Yeah, and then it's a funny thing. I see Mr. Thomas, he's a come out of the bank and pick up the shoe. Why? I suppose eh, uh, Thomas is going to give it a shoot to Texas when he see him. Oh, Jake. I've been an awful fool. Yes, ma'am. I'll find Tex over on the North Range, won't I? Yes, ma'am. If they get ready now for the big drive to the to the railroad station tomorrow. Come on. Come on. Come 
that's that. Fine. Now listen, boys. Go on back to Triple X. And when you get there, stampede that herd of his so far and wide, they'll never be able to make that ship. Go and meet the grass. Get gone. All right, on our way. You in jail for rustling. The triple X stuck with his beef. I reckon that city gal will have to sell out to Thomas at his own price. Go on, you rap. What's the matter, Thomas? Shut up, we got Tex Mason with the goods. Tex? Yes. Steve Cook and I trapped him, herding a bunch of triple X cattle into his hideout. Steve's holding them there now. Fred, get the boys. Go on, get your horses, Thomas. Wait a minute till I get my coat.
Why, he's on the other side of the range somewhere, miss. I've got to see him right away. Well, you wait here and I'll round him up for you. Thanks. Got away, Sheriff. He did. Which way did he go? That way. I think he went that way. I think he went to his ranch. Come on, Sheriff. We can get him. <laughs> Everything is all set, boys. The coast is clear. Come on, let's go. All right, here we go. <laughs> That was close, was it? Just a minute. Dirty double crosser. You've been stealing my cattle right along, haven't you? Hey, hey, yeah. On. yeah. Yeah, who's with yeah. you on it? Thomas. Thomas? Thomas. He oh, paid me to so do it. That's the one, huh? Who else is with you? <laughs> no one. Just Thomas. He paid me to do it, Tex. 
There he is, Sheriff. Oh, I see. Now, wait a minute. Listen, Joe. Tell the Sheriff what you told me a while ago. Go on, tell him. Uh, Thomas is the head of the wrestlers. He made me do it. Yes, Sheriff. He... Get him, boys. Hold on, hold on. Thomas, you ain't going nowhere. Come on. Get walking, Joe. <laughs> Come on. Hold on. I'll get going. Well, that's that. Now, uh, Peggy, we'll uh, wind up that beef contract and then... Uh, and then? Uh, and then, uh... And then what? Are you going to let me finish this or not? There. I want you to read it. Oh, yeah. You know, being a lawyer, he's used to shop. But I bet this will surprise him. Yeah, especially when he won the bet you'd only be out here for a week. <laughs> now, you give me this, and I'll send Skeeter into town with it right away. Can cook, Mom. <laughs> Just because you said that, now I'm going to make you finish this whole pie. There you are. Now, excuse me. Now, when I get you a cup of coffee, I'll I'll be right back. Yes, ma'am. Looks kind of like we're going to have a, a double wedding, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. 